Hey guys, sorry, just readjust this camera. Ooh la la. Okay. Um, what I want to say right now, because Corey just told me that um, what's happening is that people at Unite the Right are worried about being doxxed right now. They're being threatened with being doxxed. And um, I just want to say. Oh, and the other thing that happened is Red Ice Radio member website was hacked yesterday. Um, and they may have some people's names, as far as I could tell from what Henrik said in his video about this. Um, but, and so that's, some people might be worried about being doxxed right now. So I just want to say um, that if you are doxxed, please contact me. You can do so at realitycallshow.com slash um, contact realitycallshow.com slash contact and I will um, do my best to help you in any way that I can. Um, as you saw when, um, what's his name, James Damore was fired from Google um, because he noticed that there are differences between men and women <laughs> and was charged with perpetuating gender stereotypes. Uh, as you notice, when that happened, there was a big outrage. A lot of people wanted to support him because he was in the right. So um, you may not get such a big friendly outreach from the general public if you are alt-right um, and you were at the, the Unite the Right rally or if you were on the Red Ice radio members list or whatever, you may not get such a big outreach from <laughs> the general public. Um, but I and the rest of the alt-right community would very much like to support you in any way that we can, whatever your situation or problem might be. So if you, if you have, um, oh yeah, and just to say that Henrik says that on his um, website he uses PayPal as a payment processing um, payment processing company. So don't worry, your credit card details are safe. It's not to do with the financial thing. It's just that maybe your name might be released. That's the only possibility that could be a problem. And it's not even actually a problem right now. It's just a potential. And I know some people might be worried about that. And um, Oh, what does dox mean? Dox means when people go and find out your name, your address, your family members and expose it publicly to try to shame you and get you fired from your job and potentially even worst case scenario for members of Antifa or something to come to your house and actually try to physically hurt you or threaten you. So. Well, thanks for all the compliments, guys. That's very nice. <laughs> um, but I'm just talking about doxing, and uh, I'd like to just repeat, if you are worried about being doxed, please contact me, and I will help you in any way that I can. Um, ultimately, one of the biggest tools that um, the Antifa people and the BLM people, etc., use against people in the alt-right because they can't kill us or they can't jail us their next best option is to get us to lose our job and to physically intimidate us and they do that by doxing which means they release all of your private details your name address etc your phone number your your number plate on your car etc um so if you're worried about that happening contact me at realitycallshow.com slash contact and I'll help you out as much as I can. Um, if you're worried about home security, I suggest, you know, where it's legal to do so, you arm yourself, you get trained in using a weapon, um, you look up home security improvements online. There are lots of very good things you can do that will prevent people from being able to kick in your front door, that will prevent people from being able to break in your windows, etc. So you can take action to defend yourself against the consequences of being doxxed. That's one thing I want to say. Um, the other thing is, the guys at Counterfund, this is the early stages right now, but what they are trying to do is they're trying to build a community um, that supports each other economically in addition to a political platform. So 
um, the goal will be that we will actually employ each other, we'll create like a parallel economy almost for those people who can't be employed in the mainstream. And we are gaining a lot of momentum right now, um, which is why the left is so scared of us. So the likelihood is if you are doxxed right now, you're not going to be finished for the rest of your life. We're going to help you immediately in the short term. And in the long term, we're going to set you up with people who are happy to employ you. So I just want people to realize that it's not the end of the world if you get doxxed. Um, and you can contact me. I will be sympathetic to any fears that you have. And I know that the rest of the alt-right will also wish to support you if you are doxxed. There are people who have had serious consequences. Um, when they're doxxed, yes. Um, for example, there's a guy called Vegan Gaines who was who is a YouTuber. He was doxxed, and multiple different people showed up to his house and th tried to threaten him and things like that. Um, and he was actually living with his mum at that time, and he decided to move away from his mum's house because of that. Um, similar thing happened to Millennial Woes. He was doxxed. Um, by an anti-fat organisation and then later by the actual local newspaper. Uh, they literally published a picture of his front door. And um, so he had to move to an another area. He actually moved out of the country for a short time. I don't know where he is now. But um, it's, uh, it, it can certainly disrupt your life. And it can certainly present you a, a real risk, it can make you more vulnerable. Um, but I want people to know it's not the end of the world, you know. Um, it's very, very rare for anyone to actually experience physical danger, like actually be attacked or killed after the situation. The only people I can think of who that's happened to are like very big famous celebrities. YouTube celebrities who have like hundreds of thousands of followers, so most people don't have to worry about that. Um, so yes, uh, we are working, actively working right now to create parallel economies and parallel job sites and parallel communities that will support people if they've been doxxed. Again, if you're worried about this, come talk to me and I will try to help you, but what I'm trying to say is really don't worry about it because we are gaining momentum, we are gaining power and in the future uh, you're not going to be suffering as a result of having been dogs in the past so you don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, you can message me, you can contact me any means you want. Um, so yeah, do you have any other questions for me? Feel free to ask them here. Someone just asked me, how do you find a girlfriend? I would recommend the first step toward finding a girlfriend, you should work on improving the other areas of your life first. So you should work on, are you going to the gym? Do you have a good career? Um, do you have a good place to live? Do you have good friends? Um, you know, are you healthy, etc. And work on a lot of aspects of self-improvement, build your social circle, and then you can start trying to find a girlfriend. But you, sh you shouldn't do things backwards and try to find a girlfriend when your life is, you know, not exactly very well built up, uh, because you probably won't be very attractive to most women <laughs> if that's the situation. So you need to work on self-improvement first, and then women will just be attracted to you and you won't have an issue. Um, I'm actually engaged, so that's not an option. <laughs> so, okay. Um, please repost your questions because they go fast, really fast here. Fast, really fast here. Um, is Britain doomed? No. None of the Western countries are doomed. They are only doomed if we continue on the current trajectory. Um, if we seek to stop and reverse the current demographic trends, we will be fine, but we must take action now. We literally have a 40 year window to turn this around. So 
I'm about to head to the gym. I encourage you to do the same. Thanks for watching. Um, and you can find more from me on YouTube. Just type in Tara McCarthy and I'll come up. My podcasts are also available on just about every platform. Just type in Tara McCarthy and you'll find them. Does sharing someone's personal photos fall under doxing? Yeah, it's kind of a bit like that, yeah. I'm going to do some push-ups. Good, I like to hear that. I really do. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.